Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to the mall. We are taking you shopping with us, but first we are going to Lego. We're in line. I thought there would be a line. I didn't know it would be this long. Um, we are like an hour early, right? We're an hour early. We were gonna get some Starbucks, but that's not happening because this is only gonna get longer. We are here to pick up some Harry Potter Legos. Hopefully there's enough in stock for everybody in this line. We'll find out, stay tuned. Check out the display, you guys. We got our mandrake. Look yes. at this burrow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Buckbeak, of course we got our Durmstrang ship and the Great Hall, which you have seen already and the sorting hat on the end. <laughs> we're so close, we're so close. First, we're gonna get, oh, here it is, okay. You guys, of course, we need to get ourselves the new advent calendar, we're gonna get that one. Where's the other one we're getting? Oh, that is it, okay. We're also going to get for the Beyond Channel Sneak Po, this sucker right here. And now we're going to get in line. Hi. Hi. Oh, you okay. Set? Yes. Oh, we're the burrow. The burrow all and right. all the, all the extra bits. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I built the burrow that we had in the window. Uh -huh. um, it was really cool. Awesome. Uh, they do an awesome job with the angles for like how it looks kind of rickety. Yeah, um, but still feels stable, I'm assuming. But it still feels really, really stable. And it's not all plate connected. Um, and it's not even all pink connected. It kind of just puts stuff on. Um, and then you walk in the place and see the bricks. Oh, cool. Um, but it's, it, it's super, super stable. They didn't awesome. Really awesome. There's some really cool um, kinetic things with it as well. There's like a dish getting scrubbed and there's a little thing you press it. Yes. Um, but I, it's very interactive. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You guys are good to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys. All right. We've got it. She's acquired. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. All right, so we got the goods at Lego. Let's now go into Hot Topic. I'm gonna be looking at all the things. We're not just doing Harry Potter here. And specifically, I see some Beetlejuice stuff and I think we might be acquiring some Beetlejuice. So let's go in, check that section out, check all the things out. I do know one like witchy thing. It is a hair clip. It's a cathedral hair clip. I'm hoping they have it, but let's go see what they have. All right the Beetlejuice merge. So I'm looking for a top because we are gonna go be seeing this movie and I wanna be in style, you know what I'm saying? We got a shirt, we got a bag. I don't know how far into Beetlejuice I wanna go. It would go in the Disney room and we got this hat. As long as it's not wool, I'm gonna get it. Cause I want like a basic black wide brim hat, which I don't have right now and very subtly underneath it says Lydia Dietz, I myself am strange and unusual and yay, where is it? This hat, this hat is 100% polyester. No wool, you guys, we're getting her. How much are we? How much are we? 32.90, you said? Okay, I might have to try it on, but I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Okay, this I'm tempted by, let me come around. It is a never trust the living beanie. I'm just trying to decide. How do I feel about the sandworms on the end? Do we like it? Do we like it, you guys? I love the lettering of this and the green pop. You know I wear this green eyeshadow all the time. Um, we got some mysteries. Look at those. Shirts. What is this? Sleep cap bonnet. That is interesting. A ghost house with Lydia Dietz sweatshirt hoodie. Oh my God, look at this oven mitt. Look at this oven mitt. I mean, there would be a world where I would do Beetlejuice and Hocus Pocus and what's the other one? Um, I just oh, mentioned there. Nightmare Before Christmas. We actually did Nightmare Before Christmas as a theme prior to Harry Potter. Oh my God, what are these? We got socks, 12 days of socks and advent calendar basically. Um, but yeah, that is this side. Oh, we got this little mug. Do we want a mug? It's the sandworm. I don't know how I feel about the actual sandworm right there, but 1690. Look at these socks. Stop it right now. This cup. Okay, okay. I need to process, but let's keep looking. Look at this little magnet. Stop it. 
stop it right now. I can't, I'm so excited. Oh my God. We will be taking you guys with us to see the movie. Obviously not in the theater, but can't wait. Sandworm earrings, sandworm earrings. Look at them, they go through both sides. I might need that. And then they have this version too. Mm, I like both. All right, we need to process. We need to walk through and process. And then we have our Nightmare Before Christmas area. Holy moly. This is when all of these fandoms come alive is Halloween season. So much. Okay, if I see anything like I love specifically, I will show you. We got some Disney, some Stitch. Is this, oh, it is ceramic. We get a ceramic candy bowl with lid. We do want to like spookify um, and Christmasify the Disney room at some point. It won't happen this year, but we are slowly gathering. Look at the goods. A little Mickey cup. Oh my God. The cuteness. I can't even. A little Toy Story hair clip. What else have we got? Do you spot anything interesting? I mean, I'm seeing it. I do like that. There's a. They normally sell these in like a small size, so that looks like a slightly bigger size. How much is she? $29.90. Okay. Processing. So the other things that I look for at Hot Topic are witchy things. They don't just do IP, like um, Box Lunch does a lot of IP stuff. So I found a really cool witchy skirt. We've got that hat, although that is IP. So I'm gonna look for stuff like that too. It's probably gonna be in the back area. Also some horror things, okay. The Bluey, you guys, seriously, watch this freaking show. It's so good. Ooh, what are these? I don't hate that. I don't hate that. We've got corsets. I'm hoping to get into some corsets, but I'm going to be a little picky about what I get. So the jewelry and accessories is the other area that I look at. They've got, like, kind of, like, dark, witchy stuff. Um, like, I saw this really cute butterfly hair clip. You can't really tell with the security tag, but... Um, that is metal. That's so cute. Um, but I came here for what is on the other side. This cathedral hair clip. Does that not give you the Hogwartsy witchy vibes? Like, come on. Oh, that is heavy duty. I'm getting that. So, um, I'm gonna look through all of this, see what I see. I will show you at the end of this video what we pick up. And also do not forget that there are Harry Potter things here. So we've got this dark mark jewelry. Not too bad in the detail, I will say. The time turner has been here before. I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Oh my God. This could be a Beetlejuice vibe. What do we think? I don't think it's cold enough just yet, so maybe we wait. Also, kind of dig these. Kind of dig it. I do love Scream stuff. It is probably one of my favorite horror movies. Um, I won't be doing much in the way of like merch uh, displayable things, but wearables I'm fine with. Look at this spider web skirt. She is dark in here. She is tight and then it just like Widens up at the bottom. I don't wear things that are super snug, so I don't know. Oh, it's cute though. Check out this situation. That fits into the Harry Potter vibes in my room. What else we got? All right, it smells. Stitch, I need to guess, where do I smell it? Ooh, 
That is sweet. What is this? Ice cream? That is like bringing me back to my childhood. Oh my God. The stitchy things. We are still dialing back the stitch. Um, but they do have Christmas stitch Funkos we have to decide. Let me show you. So he is apparently blueberry crumble frozen yogurt. Fry Royo. Check out, check out the new Christmas ones. These are actually the two that I'm interested in. I think there's four total, including one angel. So there's the candy cane one, which is very much like a purse that I got from Matthew. And then we got that one right there. So cute. My favorite of the two, our favorite of the two. Bingo, baby. Here's the Beetlejuice section at box lunch. I have already found some cute things. I don't know what I'm gonna allow myself to get. I do like this. Look at this sweatshirt, that's cute. I will say we're going to Target. Target has a sweatshirt. It hasn't been in stock where I'm going. So I'm tempted. Also find this to be quite cute. Look at this lip gloss. It's the sandworm, you guys. Oh my God, cute. And eyeshadow palette. We're not doing, we're not doing chibi stuff. Um, what are we? Interesting. I am dialing back on the Squishmallows. I do find this really cute, but um, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna dial back on that one. We got a little stitch. Lounge fly. This scar, he's scarred for life looking like that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, I forget what these are called. Oh, these are the Tsum Tsums. I am not a Tsum Tsum fan. I will say it. Look at this Baymax. Look at this Baymax and the Puma. Oh my God, and the curl. I think his face is a little off. Would you agree? I don't normally go for these. Oh, these are bag clips. If it was a magnet, I might consider it, but the bag clips are not really my jam. I'll say it. I said it, all right. If I didn't wear mostly black, we would be getting this lot so sure. I'll tell you what.
All right, the next place that we're gonna go, so we did get a few things at Box Lunch, is Lush. There is a particular thing that I want at Lush. It was in stock the other day and now it's saying out of stock. I'm kind of bummed because it was gonna be its own video, but we might have to order it online or maybe it's there. I don't know. But basically we're going in to look at the Halloween stuff, the witchy things at Lush. Let's go. Hello. Somebody's having fun. I tried my best. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. How are you? It's here, you guys, it's here. So I learned if there is three or less items in stock, just to kind of like be careful, um, that it'll be marked as out of stock. So there's still always a chance that something's there and this was here and I get it. But let's look at the Halloween things. So here we are, it smells amazing. What are people, people are making things. We're making things. Green machine. Now, oh, that's a Ninja Turtles thing. Um, this one, I want this one, it is, called Witchy Woo. It is a bubble bar. These are the bigger bubble bars. So this is gonna last you a while. Let me smell it. The same but different? Yeah, this one's oh. Lemongrass, what does it say? Oh, that is lemongrass. So I, we're thinking that the Hocus Pocus Socus and the Witchy Woo are similar scents. They are vegan. Always look for, if you're looking for vegan, Always look for this V. They're also very clear online. You just have to click on the item you're looking for. But yeah, so there's that. Um, and now I'm just gonna give you some shots of all the goods. All right, she, it's time for some food, which not a lot of vegan options, um, but our go-to is some french fries and chow mein, so that's what we're gonna get. And Pottery Barn, we'll see what's at Pottery Barn. Okay, next up, Pottery Barn. It's not Pottery Barn Teen. I wish we could go into a Pottery Barn Teen and see all the Harry Potter things, but I'm looking for anything Halloween or fall. Probably mostly Halloween, let's see. Look at the Halloween. 
Well, that's, that's cute. If we did ghosties, that is cute. Look at all this. So it's just this table and then it looks like back there too. Well, I like these lanterns. I'm sure they're hella pricey. That is sort of the look we're gonna go for if we pull that off, we'll see. Um, what else we got here? So they're going on a full on ghosty theme. These are, these are cute. I will admit they just are a little pricey. I know they have like a, I think it's a cat one coming out of a pumpkin or something. You have this little tray, some floating candles. I will say there are cheaper options of black floating candles. The details on these are nice. So I will give it to Pottery Barn team that when they charge them hefty prices, they are still nice. Got some ghosty mugs, a little haunted house. Full on ghosty action. Okay, let's come around. I see some skelly stuff. We got a plush skelly. Oh, she's tight back here. This bowl is nice. I feel like stuff like this, when you're patient and you go out year by year, you'll find it at Home Goods. Um, but they do put more detail. So it's up to you. I feel like, I feel like that's a vibe that could fit in a possible theme. I don't know what you would do with it though. Like, and then we got little like, cutlery things, whatever that is. I don't know what I'm talking about, some glasses. Yeah, that is pretty much the Halloween section. Let's not break things. We came, we saw, we Pottery Barn, not teened. All right, we are about to get smacked in the face with some trees. We're leaving them all. We are walking over to World Market. Now, I will say I've seen like a little looksy poo at World Market when it comes to their Halloween line. Why are we stopping? To not get hit by cars? Oh, okay. Um, I'm just following his lead. I have seen the Halloween things. I don't think I've seen all of them because, well, th back that up. I haven't been super impressed. There's a good bit that is from previous years and just a lot of it doesn't fit into my aesthetic or theme. Um, but there's one item that I saw when we were sitting and eating that I'm hoping to get my paws on, but it only says there's one in stock. So it is what it is, but it's only $4 and change. And I think it fits into the Harry Potter witchy theme. So let's go to World Market. What? Halloween. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Oh my God, you guys. So still, I'm not seeing a lot that's for me, but these suckers. I was looking at them online. They are from good old England because we're in World Market and World Market does stuff from all over the place. Um, but they're super glittery. Look at that. And fun. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Cauldron Cola. Tears of a Wizard. We've got Serpent's Venom. They have, I think, all of them. Basilisk's Blood. There's not an extra S there. Um, Witch's Brew. So you mix them up and... Look at it, it's like a potion. Oh no, oh no. Do we need a basket? We might, we just might. Do we need a, like a food video on the main channel? Um, that is light. I feel like I would break that, but. And then we got little bony fork things. I think we need some sodas. I will say that's the last one, so we might grab that sucker. <laughs> Okay, it is, I have heard some people say it's the year of the ghosty. I think it is the year of the ghosty. I'm not gonna lie, that is cute. It doesn't fit in, so I'm not gonna get it, but it's cute. I dig it. Um, it's a cup, it's a cup that I'm looking for. It's a glass cup. I'm not seeing it yet, but I presume there's more. Oh, there is more on the other side. It looks like it might be over there. <gasps> there it is, there it is. It said there was one left. Look at this. Does this not give the dark mark vibes? Are we seeing this? Look at it. Look at that snake. I'll show you the deeds up close because we're going to get this sucker. We are getting this sucker. They have it, Maddie. Look at it. They got four of them. Also, they have this Harry Potter line. I know some of you got it. It's this new tea. You can get it on Amazon, World Market, so many places. Um, but there is that. It's from Sri Lanka. Every house, although apparently Hufflepuff is missing. And then we got this sucker right here. 80 tea bags. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then all the usual culprits right here. Okay, let's keep on the Halloween.
Got this little taper candle snake holder. I think this was like $14 or something like that. $12.99. We got this little snaky situation. The crystal ball. I don't think it lights up. Different little potions. Cute. Don't really care for the yoga going things here. I don't know what I'd use this for, but I think it's cute. Could do without that. Oh, that's a candle. Wow. Holy moly. Is this a candle then? That is a candle too. And this is one that like, it could fit into our theme this year. It is $34.99, but I feel like we have enough stuff in that regard. Some ghosties. These candelabras, highly recommend. I got two from last year. Oh, we got some Jack Skellington stuff right here, including some coffee. I dig it. What's over here? Creepy cloth. I did, I saw this one. I thought it was kind of interesting. Like it could fit into our theme. I just don't know. Oh, and it's breakable. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with it is all. What else? The branchy trees were tempting. I don't know why we have to glitterify everything. That's what it looks like. If I recall right, it's kind of pricey. So, of course they have like pumpkin -y things. They've had this last year. It's really pretty. It's like a cookie jar. I don't want to touch it too much, but I just feel like the paint job is really nice on that. Alrighty, friends, we are done with the mall. We are done with World Market. We are going to Target. We have to walk there. It's disgusting out. There are a few things we're looking for. So there's a Harry Potter thing that I was looking for previously and uh, it wasn't out yet, okay? I wasn't on it as a creator. There is a sort of witchy Halloween-y thing. It's actually something we already have. It says it's in stock, I'm kind of surprised. We'll see, we'll look and see what like Halloween stuff there is in general. And then we have like some practical things. He needs some pants. We're going to Rose City Comic Con and uh, thanks, appreciate that. <laughs> I'll take that honking as like a positive thing. Locked and loaded, all right. I see the thing, I see the thing. We got it last year, it's here again. It's so good, it's so good, we need it. I'm only seeing one, so can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited, you guys, let me show you. It is this cauldron, cast iron, right? Am I right? Got a handle, only $40, she's a pretty large one. If you've seen on the main channel, the cast iron cauldron that has a whole bunch of flowers, it's the like centerpiece of my bookshelf, that is this, my friends. So check it out, it is online, it does ship to places. So go ahead and see if it ships to you. But um, we're, gonna, we're gonna find a place to put this. <laughs> this is the fall area, like the sort of adulty fall area. Now they have in the past done a Halloween in this section where we've got like pumpkin candles, more of that dark aesthetic. I don't know if they're bringing that out or what's happening, if it's just gonna happen later in the season because we did just wrap and it might still be the case. What are we finding out? Oh, there's pumpkin candles, okay. But it's not like the Halloween vibe. Do you see them? Right up there. I don't know, these vibes work. They're vibing, they're, they're fall vibing. Here, let me show you. Like we're getting all them oranges, the greens, that nice muted color. Um, florals at Target are really nice. And we've got wreaths. I'm seeing gold things. They always have the gold things here. Um, honestly, this kind of stuff would be on the main channel, but we have so much content coming at your eyeballs. That's why we got our second channel. I like, I like the color palette. It doesn't fit into anything we do, but we've got blankets. Um, this is a nice one. If you have cats, don't recommend, or if you just don't want it shedding. Otherwise, it's soft and it's a nice pretty blue for your Ravenclaws out there. That would fit in. Just a lot of florals. But like, look at this. So some of the fall leaves out there, like especially Michael's, they're a much brighter orange. This one has more of that like natural look to it. Here's what that one looks like. And um, they're not gonna be as cheap. Although Michael's, she's not cheap. How much are you, buddy? Uh, 20 bucks is not too shabby. I might consider that. I like the more brown look there. It's certainly fall. It's not a slam dunk Halloween wise. Oh, I do think this is cute. It's like a... Is that a candle? It's just a jar. Can I not break it? Is that brass? It's a cute little pumpkin. I dig that. 
Browns. I want to bring in more browns. I don't think we're really going too heavy. We're going quite a bit heavy on the blacks this year. It is the Forbidden Forest, so... Oh, this is the other area. So this is like the Threshold Magnolia area. Um, let me show you. A lot of woods. This is the kitcheny stuff. I do find things here occasionally. They are all year round pieces. I think like, I just go for natural vibes. So I do like amber things. They fit in really well to the potions theme and just, it's a natural color, you know? Um, nice faces, wood things galore, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've already looked in this section quite a bit at other targets. I do want to get my paws on this. I need a fancy if I, $27.99, my bathtub, but I need to measure and see if that fits. Really like the color of that. Oh, I kind of wish it had something to hold like a book or something, because slots with me, probably a bad idea. One thing that Target has this year that would fit into a Harry Potter vibe is they actually have a spine candle. I'll throw a photo over here, whether it's a stock one or the one that I took at the Target I was at. It is quite thick. It's a quite thick spine candle. It's fairly tall, um, but I was kind of surprised to see that at Target. Also, I'm eyeballing some Halloween throws. Let's check them out. Halloween throws. So they're really going with the brights this year, which I did see um, in their main seasonal area. I don't know why it's blanking. Uh, the hide and eek line. There's another throw Halloween area. These are a little bit more muted. Um, and I'm only looking at these for the Disney area, like that cutesy stuff. I don't have a couple throws I brought down. I don't have any in orange. Also just saw this. So I'm kind of keeping my eye out for like a haunted house vibe that I could turn into like Malfoy Manor. I feel like this isn't wide enough. We were noticing the glue job isn't great, but that's just something I'm looking for. We got a little spider web doormat with lights. Interesting, 40 bucks. More doormats for 13 bucks. This is so cute, come on. If we did the cutesy thing, I hate passing up on ghosties, but that is the one thing I don't really bring in. Sheet ghosts don't really fit into a witchy Wizarding World Harry Potter vibe, but that is adorable. And then we've got this like, that one rocked. Is so there for 13 bucks. So the other thing that I'm looking for, they came out with this Beetlejuice line of sweatshirts, but I'm a size small and I only found a medium. Let's see if we can find it. It was in like the girls section, the teens. Well, you guys, this is the section, but I'm not seeing. So they have this spiderweb sweatshirt. Their sweatshirts are pretty soft. This one is really soft on the inside. It is the Nightmare Before Christmas, but I'm not seeing the Beetlejuice. There's this one. I don't hate the front. It is a small. There's the back. And there's the front. It was this like embossed green. It said Beetlejuice on the front. It had like a viney um, green situation on the back. I'm not seeing it. What's happening? Oh, I kind of like that. It's down here. It's down here. Oh, those are the pants. Guys, no. No. It is. It's like this, but it says it on the front. It's just, I've, hearing, I've been hearing that it's been selling out everywhere. Oh God, do we have to order an online Target? Why? So we are going to the mystery section because, I don't say it, <laughs> there is a new Disney Cutie Cuff Series 4. It has Lotso in it. Where is it? Where are you people getting this? There's no Cutie Cuffs. No Disney Cutie Cuffs. Around the corner is another thing. It is a Harry Potter thing. We'll see if we find it kind of defeats the purpose. Not sold in stores. It's the Hogwarts Legacy cook cookbook. <laughs> Coloring book. Not sold in stores. Root. Root. All right, we're gonna see if Halloween's here. We have struck out on everything else. We see Halloween candy. I know that's the first thing that they put out. Um, I don't know if we'll take you through the whole thing if they have it, because this is not a nearby location to us. So um, we'll be going to those. We'll also be running a car. <laughs> I have an appointment to go to. And they booked me for Washington. What the what? No, they're not ready. Okay, I'm kind of glad I'm not, I wasn't ready. Look at the empty shelves. So we have candy, candy everywhere. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait for the benefit of the kids, I suppose. I don't know. It's my girl. <laughs> I had to do it. All right, we gotta press it. That's cute. I love it. I think she does one more thing. Can you play games with us? I sure can, ma'am. I sure can. <laughs> so cute. 
All right, friends, that is a wrap on Target. We're gonna meet you home and show you all the goods. We're doing this all in one video because we'd be cram packed in them videos. See ya at home. Guess who's back with some stuff. I'm also undisgusting myself because my God, you people with your cars, the luxury that you have of not being in the blasted sun all the time. Okay, we have some things to show you. So let's go in order of shops and the shops that the order that order we went shopping in, starting with Lego. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you all the Lego things. If you wanna see the main event Lego wise, uh, that's gonna come out on the main channel. So go over there after this. After these here messages, first up, there are two things actually, and they're a bit of a sneaksy poo. One of them, you guys would know, we're planning on getting it anyway, it's not that much of a spoiler. It is the Harry Potter advent calendar. Advent calendar season's coming up. I know, it's Halloween time. What are we doing here? Uh, scheduling. Scheduling is a thing, we must be on it, because uh, it's chaos in my brain. But I'm really excited for this one. I'm excited, especially because we built the Great Hall. This is gonna be perfect in the Great Hall. Um, can't wait to see, we're not looking. No looking. And then this one is more for that guy right over there, although I'm gonna enjoy it too, and I'm unboxing it because he's not yet gonna be on camera. One day, she will occur. And that is the Star Wars Lego Advent Calendar. I'll probably say this in that video, but one of the things we like, other than the fact that it's Christmassy, like there's Christmas hats worn on these cutie pies, uh, Christmassy sweaters, it doesn't have some of the later films characters. We don't care for them, okay? We like the OG characters. So excited for that. That's all I've got to show you Lego wise on this here channel. Next up, hot topic. <laughs> I can't help myself. We got quite a bit of Hot Topic. I was kind of expecting to get quite a bit, um, mostly because of the sort of witchy things that they have, but we got a variety of stuff. So actually, I'll show you the last thing that I got. They were doing a buy one, get one 30%. There was another place that was doing buy one, get one 50. I can't keep up. Buy one, get one, some percent off, and we were on an odd number, so we needed another item. And my husband had seen this. He is a low-key collector. That sounded weird. Loki, he's Loki. No, like Loki from Marvel. Um, and I had never seen this one. Oh, it's kind of cute. I didn't see the sweater. Oh, he's got a little Santa hat on his alligator. <laughs> it is the well, it just calls it's just called Loki. Exclusive drop, hot topic, holiday. Oh, she's old. 2023. We don't care. And also, I think the lady said it was like five bucks. It was like on sale for like five bucks, but. We got that cutie right there. If you have not seen low key, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, and if you're planning on seeing Deadpool, do see low key before, just saying. So that was our last item. Now, the main thing I went for, um, we got more than the main thing, is this sucker. So they have some really fun witchy things. I showed you a few clips, mostly in the jewelry area, but also like skirts, tops, things like that. And everything I got was jewelry and accessories. Um, and I saw this online and I'm like, it's just giving me the Hogwartsy vibes. It is like a cathedral situation. It's bigger than I was expecting. Um, and it's this right here. So the brand is Cosmic Aura. Cosmic Aura does like all things witchy. Well, look at that stained glass window. We're getting them purples in there. I love it. How does that not fit in? Anything like Cathedral Victorian, uh, I'm gonna go for. But she's a hair clip. Here she is. Not small, not small this one. So this is not gonna be a hair clip to put up like half your hair, especially me as I have thin hair. Um, this is gonna be like putting the whole shebang up, but how freaking cute is that and witchy? Because we do all things witchy. Speaking of which, did not know they had these. Um, also interesting, it's not Cosmic Aura. It is Social Collision. Um, Social Collision also has witchy things, but this feels like it pairs perfectly with it. And it is this set of cathedral like stained glass earring, earrings, look at them. Same purple thing. How is this a different brand? I don't get it. It's like the same situation. These ones though are not see-through, um, but you can still see the purple. Like it's, it's basically the same thing. Wear those together, what the what? Um, $9.90, they were doing like a buy one, get one, some percent off. I don't remember what this is. 
1190. As always, and I get these comments often, mostly on the main channel, asking where I got something. We put those deets in the description. Trust me, she takes time to find those links. Um, but we want to help you out, okay? Because it's, it's the same for me. When I see other creators getting cool things, I want to know where they are. And when they're not in the description, I'm like, I got to do my homework now? What the heck? Okay, anyway, we got more witchy things. This one is also social collision. And I don't know. She's just a fun witchy set. I feel like does this fit into Harry Potter? I don't know, but it fits into the witchy vibes, which means it fits in. Um, and it is a set of, can we do some math? Six earrings. And they had a lot of these style earrings where they come in little sets. So you can wear like these on your second piercing and these on your main one. You can mix and match. You can do whatever your little heart fancies, but I love me all things cats and I'm a sucker for black cats. Um, so we got this little skull with a black cat, a bit of a red, I mean, the Gryffindor vibes, right? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure on the crosses if I was going to branch into crosses. I'm not a religious person. I would say I'm a bit of a spiritual person. I'd like to be more of a spiritual person, but I'm not a religious person. But what did you say that sort of justified it in my mind? Crosses mean like death and we like death. So <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Anyway, we got this little dagger. I feel like, I mean, we can get the Bellatrix vibes on that one there. Um, it's got the blood on it. <laughs> Dobby, anybody? <laughs> okay. Um, so that is that set. That was $9.90. Like, it's just really affordable jewelry, and you're getting a whole bunch of it. I probably would have paid $9.90 for a set of those, and I got six of them. And the last accessory is something I have never acquired before. I don't even know what you call these. Ear clips? Hair ear clips? Look at them. I said... I love me some cat things. They are little cat ears. Now they're they're pretty dainty these ears, but how cute. So it is a little clip right there. You would just like that and slide that in your hair. I would have to like kind of have my hair tuck a little bit over the edge if I don't want to show the actual clip. Or if we don't care, we don't care, you know? And they're like little gems. I would say this has got a, a touch of a green color in there, but I love me a sparkly business, you know, I'm a niffler inside. Okay, so that's all the accessories of Hot Topic. We have two pins. First up, they almost always have, um, well, they have like a section of all kinds of IP, and they have many different IPs that I enjoy, but this one, he found actually, is a new Baymax pin with Mochi. So Baymax is laying down. Mochi is real tiny, laying on his belly, so cute. I know at least one of you also loves yourself, a Baymax and a Mochi, and we've got both. So anytime I can get Mochi, I'm gonna get him. And also like the vibes, like the relaxation that I need in my life and I have a hard time getting myself to do. So maybe this is the reminder, I don't know. That's the first pin. The next one he picked up, I mean, if I saw it myself, there's so much to look at at Hot Topic, I probably would have picked it up. Now, a lot of you might know after the declutter video on the main channel, I'm kind of, and actually I didn't really get into it that much, but I'm kind of moving a little away from the cutesy stuff. I don't want to say adult because I don't know. I don't, I don't vibe with that sort of distinction. I don't consider myself an adult. Um, but sometimes I can't resist. And this one is a little cutesy. And it's just pulling in the cat love. And it's pulling in the black cat. We've got a skull with a little cat on it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? It's adorable. I can't. I mean, I don't even know. That's not like chibi. It's not particularly chibi, but it is cutesy. Uh, every, I don't know. I love it. Oh, it's cute. Maybe I'll wear it at work. And the last item is an item that you are looking at on Hot Topic online. Um, not on the Disney store, but it is a Disney item. And it is a fandom that I originally started this channel on. Um, it is not what we do anymore. And we are being a lot more selective of this character, but we are trying to amp up the Halloween and Christmas. So hopefully next year we could do a little bit of a decor, a little decorate with me with a much different vibe than what we do in the house. And it is, other side, this ceramic stitch candy bowl. When he showed this to me online, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. And they had one out, saw it in person, and it's really nicely made. Let me pull it out. Look at this stitch. So it is a stitch pumpkin candy jar. So you put his little, oh, the sounds. Oh, 
a little grating on the ears. Um, you put his little stem on his head, and you lift it up, and you have yourself some candy inside. Really nicely made. It has a nice indentation. This isn't just painted on top. That's what I wasn't sure of. Um, it's all the fun colors of a pumpkin, but still being kind of cutesy, which is what Disney really should be. Um, I feel like, but bringing in the spooky vibes. I love it. How much do we pay for this sucker? She is a $29.90. Although they were doing a sale. Always do a sale at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. All righty, moving on to a box friggin' lunch. Box lunch, all right. We weren't sure, I wasn't sure. We are, and I'll get into this probably in like the Halloween decorate with me if that's out, I don't know. Why, what is the schedule? Um, but we are pretty much dialing back, if not completely not getting any more Harry Potter fungos. Disney is a different thing. And I'm gonna be a lot more picky about the Funkos in Disney, but we did get a couple. But the first one is one that he wanted, and I told him I was gonna get it for him for his birthday, but it was already there, so I figured he would see it and want it. And it is, because he just he's the person that just collects whatever he wants, and it just all hangs out together. It is bringing us back to our childhood, an American tale, you guys. Fievel goes west, look at Fievel. Fievel's the only one that he wanted. And we done got him. I mean, it's Funko, $12.90 for this cutie. What is he holding? Should I take it out? Look at that suitcase. He's got a little ticket on it. Oh, it's the hat. It's the hat with the little ears down. I love an animal with their ears down. It's, it's, I'm a sucker for it, especially with Stitch, but animals in general. The last Funko, I wasn't sure. So we've had quite the discussion on like, what Halloween-y things do we bring out into the Disney room? And it is branching out a little beyond Disney. So what we are allowing are some things I really enjoy. Things like Beetlejuice, Hocus Pocus, and Nightmare Before Christmas. Obviously Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus are Disney, but Beetlejuice not so much, um, but we don't care. Like, it, it works. Um, that's what I'm telling myself, because I'm struggling to figure out how it's gonna fit in, but it's really cute, and I'm so excited to see the movie. It will be in a vlog, not the whole movie, um, just us going to it, among some other things. But I got myself the character that I resonate the most, and no, it's not Beetlejuice, that would be creepy. It is Miss Lydia Dietz, lover. I do want to dress up as her um, for Halloween one year. I got to do the bangs, the whole situation. But from what I'm understanding, she is like a celebrity at this point, like running her own TV show or something like that. I just know she has a producer. Um, I have heard really good things about this movie that it even surpasses the first, which is a hard thing to do. Um, I almost, almost got Astrid, which is her daughter but we decided let's see the movie first and then it will probably still be available and we could get it. But, oh my God, I'm digging the hair. Her whole vibe, the whole black on black vibe, the um, I'm strange and unusual, that is me. That is me, I resonate with her. So anyway, she's got this little TV that says Ghost House with Lydia Dietz. I'm gonna guess that is the name. Um, of her television show, we will find out. Let me know in the comments down below if you are seeing this movie. Um, so we can chat all about it when we do that video. We're just in the Discord group when you see it. The last two items that we got at Box Launch were pins. Um, and this one pin. So uh, you may have seen in the footage, there were some Lion King pins amongst others, fandoms that I enjoy getting, but I didn't really vibe with any of them. And there was a Simba and Nala Lion King pin that was like them older. It wasn't the one I wanted. I had seen one online, it was on sale, and it was Simba and Nala um, younger with Zazu making silly faces. And we were at the register and I was so bummed, and he looked over and there was one sitting randomly in a like container holding something else, and we got him. Look at this Simba and Nala. I just love the silliness. Like, it just feels like that's, that's, my, fa that's my vibe, the silliness. We've got Zazu on the bottom there, and the two of them making faces, which was a scene in the movie. Love it, this is a double pin back, if anybody cares, I don't really care. Um, $9.90 for this sucker. I don't think we paid the full price because we did a buy one, get one, some amount off, because um, we were at three items, we were at the register, this keeps happening to us, um, and we were at the register and we had to get one more, and we almost got the Lion King older one, but this one was also over there, and we love all things up. Maybe not all things, but we love up. And one of the characters I really enjoy in Up is Doug. Look at him. 
Squirrel, we got us a Doug. All dressed up Boy Scout um, situation right there. He's so cute. For like half off of $9.90. Why not? I mean, we're slowly building our pin collection, both in Harry Potter, like I plan on doing multiple themes and changing them out during like Halloween season, um, Christmas season, all year round sort of thing. But also we're gonna be doing different IPs um, and themed boards in the Disney room. So we're just gonna slowly build till we get to the point that we can actually do that. Um, but that is box lunch. Next up, World Market. I was not expecting to really find anything at World Market because I have seen some footage of people going. Um, well, I first checked online and I wasn't vibing with a lot of things. So I was like, ah, let me just watch some people who I already watch um, and see their footage. Um, Cause I don't like to, at least on the main channel, bring you guys along with me if I don't feel like there's enough to really show that fits into the wizarding witchy vibe. Um, and there wasn't a huge amount, but there are some things and we got those things. We got all of those things. I mean, I think there was a bit more, but as far as my vibe. And the first thing that I got is the one I was going over there for, cause we were sat down. Let me put it here. We were sat down eating some food and I was looking it up and I didn't know about this one. Nobody showed it. Um, and it is this like short glass cup. I guess that's the word. I don't know the fancy word. And it's just giving me, so $5.99. I think this was on sale. I didn't actually check when we checked out. Um, this glass right here, let me see if I could show you. Are you getting the vibes? So it is on both sides, as you can see, which I really enjoy. But it is a skull with a snake weaving around the skull through the eye. And the snake is like, it's this hard to show? It's so hard to show. The snake is like a silver gray color. Do you see it weaving around through that eye? Is that not giving you the dark mark vibes? Oh my God, I love it. And there's like details on the snake. Can we just look at that snake? There's details on the snake of like little patches missing that are um, little designs. So little whole little cutouts. What is language? I don't know. Um, $5.99 retail and then they were on sale for like $4 and something. Got it. And then the next thing we got, we didn't get any of the tea, any of the Harry Potter tea. I do tend to not do teas that are in like plastic bags and maybe it isn't. I didn't bother to check. Um, and I have too many teas to be drinking first, but we did get another drink. We got five of them because we were so lucky that one of every kind was there. And these are hard to get in the States. They are from the UK and I've only ever seen them at FYE online and the shipping. She's not, it's just overall, it's not cheap. It wasn't cheap to start. I will say it's like $4 and something per bottle. Right. Um, and I was told these only come out Halloween time at world market. So we got them all. And first up, you're not supposed to shake it, but how do you get this? You could swirl it. First up, Basilisk Blood. Look at the swirly business. Oh my God. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on these cause we will cover them. Um, but the brand that makes these is the Potions Cauldron in the UK. So if you are a UK peep, you got access, okay? I'm jealous. I mean, I haven't tasted these yet. Then we've got Witch's Brew. Oh, the shimmer, the shake and shimmer, I tell you. Tears of a Wizard. That's what that says, right? Yep. I don't actually know the flavors of them. We'll get into them in another video. I like the design on this one. The Cauldron Cola. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. And then last but not least, Serpent's Venom. Oh my God, look at that swirliness. I love it. I'm so excited. So either we're gonna do like a taste test video on the Love and Lumos channel, or it will be in a vlog maybe where we just enjoy the fall and spooky season. Um, I don't know, but it will come to your eyeballs at some point because I'm gonna be drinking these things. We're gonna taste test them. Speaking of tasty things, um, a lot, one of the, one of the, what are we saying? One of the areas that comes out are like maple things during the fall season at World Market. And we love these. And they are the biscuits a la cream right here um, from, are these Canada? Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada, my Canada. 
it's not mine, but I have thought about living there. We have thought about living there. So these are the regular like OG ones. We have had these, love them. I will say there is a version like those sold at Trader Joe's that are also really good, love those. Um, but we haven't tried these, I don't think. Chocolate maple cream cookies. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, we got a taste test building at this point, why not? And then one of my favorite things to get like Halloween season and Christmas season are their pop-up greeting cards. So let me show you. They're not like IP based or anything. They're a lot of like witchy ones or I go for the witchy ones. So we got this one, which is a cauldron. We've got some, you know, skulls and crystals and potions. And these are pop-ups. So let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Look at that cauldron. Oh, she's a glittery one. We've got, you know, witchy things, a cauldron, a broom, a hat, and it's like three dimensional. What's down here? We got a crow. Candles, freaking cute. And then I got this wide one. This one is like all things potion-y. Here is the front. And then let's see. Oh yeah. Look at that potions shelf right there. Snape would be proud. We've got eyeballs, a skull, a brain, a frog. The frog is my favorite part. Like, let's hope the frog is just there for the vibes and they're not doing anything because it looks alive. We want to keep it that way. Okay, we're not that evil. Um, snails and puppy dog tails. Okay, apparently whoever did this is quite evil. Um, but there is that card. Why do I have these? I love sending cards out and I would like to send some out to some of you if you enjoy yourself the Halloween season. That is world market. Last but not least, Target. We actually were hoping for a lot more at Target. We had a list. The longest list was at Target. We did not get, well, we got one thing on our list. This was not it. Although actually that's a lie. I was looking for it. I just forgot to put it on my list. I'm looking for some more. This is a basic B right here. I was looking for some bodysuits. I have never owned a bodysuit in my life, um, but I have one now and it's this black bodysuit. I don't normally go for these square top vibes. The reason that I got this, I'm going to be branching out to a lot more like sheer tops and I have like this mesh um, like knitted piece where we can't just be wearing a bra underneath it. So I wanted something and I now have this. So I'll probably be branching out to more of those, but that's what I meant when I said we were looking for like staples. And then the one thing that was on our list that we got, you saw me put it in the cart and there was only one there. I was surprised. I was surprised that it was out. It is. Another cauldron, you saw it in the thumbnail. Oh my God, we love this cauldron so much. I even at checking out, I mean, $40 for a stainless steel cauldron. If you find cauldrons, and I've seen some of you have found cauldrons at thrift shops, they are pricey because people know that people want them. Um, like quality cast iron cauldrons, and this one is cast iron. It's a pretty good size. Like I said, if you have seen like any of our videos that show our main shebang of a shelf. Our cauldron is front and center. Um, and there are a lot of places that we could put this because I did ask him, I'm like, do we need another cauldron? And the response was that, well, when you come across a cast iron cauldron, a cauldron that is the way it's supposed to be, you get it. So we got it. So maybe it goes in here when we redo this room. Maybe it goes in another room that has a particular theme that I think would fit in quite well in the downstairs. Um, but yeah, that is a wrap on this haul. I will say I wasn't going to record any of this, but it is so much fun bringing you guys along with me and just being able to share the joy of the things that I get to find and just going out and treating your daggone self. Maybe one day I'll learn what rest is. I don't know, but I don't care. This was fun. We did the thing. We got the things. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you see anything that you liked, whether it's what I got or whether it's anything that we showed? Um, and is there anything I missed at any of these stores that I should have got? Let me know in those comments down below. But until next time, which will be a little bit of a Beetlejuice video, plus more, remember to be magic, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. That is in my way for this wrap up.